Can you imagine if nature was like this? Fortunately, nature solved this issue, and the kingfisher can dive gracefully into water with little or no splash. Nature perfected this design over many years, but Japanese engineers didn't have that time to come up with a solution to their bullet train sonic booms. It's the early 90s, and Japanese engineers are trying to solve one of their biggest problems, tunnel sonic booms. One of the world's busiest high-speed rail lines is called Tokaido Shinkansen, having moved billions of passengers since its opening in 1964. However, at the time it was first designed, it was also well known for disturbing thousands of nearby residents as it emerged from tunnels. This is Engineer's Muse, and today we are going to look at how kingfishers inspired engineers. The bullet train travels through Japan at speeds of 150 to 200 miles per hour. Unfortunately for the local people, the train design didn't consider how the train's high speed would cause atmospheric pressure waves to build up in front of the train as it passed through tunnels. This compression wave propagates through the tunnel at the speed of sound, forming a micro-pressure wave or a tunnel sonic boom at the exit. The big problem was that the trains would run through many tunnels in dense neighborhoods, and the sonic booms were so forceful that residents could hear them 1,300 feet away. Thousands of residents were disturbed and annoyed by this for years. Until Iji Nakatsu, the director of technical development for the bullet trains in 1997, was tasked along with others to make the trains quieter without decreasing speed or using more energy. Nakatsu questioned, is there some living thing that manages sudden changes in air resistance as a part of daily life? Not only was Nakatsu an engineer, he was also an avid bird watcher and active member of the Wild Bird Society of Japan. After observing and photographing kingfishers, Nakatsu witnessed kingfishers diving from the air to water at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour without making a splash. Nakatsu believed the birds could do this because of the streamlined shape of its long pointed wedge-shaped beak. The team of engineers conducted tests to measure pressure waves from bullets of various shapes and designs shot into a pipe. After multiple tests, the resulting data showed the ideal shape for the Shinkansen's head is practically identical to a kingfisher's beak. From being inspired by kingfishers to finalizing the design, Nakatsu had cracked the problem that had been causing issues for so long. The new design of the train reduced the noise of the tunnel sonic booms, and the train was running at higher speed, even when maintaining a standard noise level. Along with reducing the noise, other benefits emerged. The new Shinkansen 500 series reduced their energy consumption proportionally when there was a 30% less air resistance in the new predecessor of the model. The 500 series Shinkansen train can travel at speeds of up to 187 miles per hour and shortened the travel time between Shin Osaka and Hakata by 15 minutes. Nature is full of solutions for our man-made problems. It's only a matter of time before we realize what's already in front of us.